let's have some fun. Hopefully we'll have the radio up that people will be able to hear it. Uh, you will be able to uh, hear it again uh, it's, uh, we're recording at Facebook Live. Uh, there's a few different feeds, so if you miss something or want to catch some more details, there should be some recording of it uh, afterwards. Um, after it's done, if you have questions about the radio, if you have questions about the setup, the club, uh, amateur radio, feel free to ask any of us. We'll be glad to uh, give you some more detailed information. Um, but uh, we're going to let this action occur. You're welcome to hang out afterwards and talk about it. Sure. Yeah, that's fine. We, we, don't, want, we, we don't want a bunch of sound. So. <laughs> Three minutes. All right. You're like, not going to ask him like what you had for breakfast, are you? <laughs> Wheaties. <laughs> Did you explain to him what we're going to hear when we first, first start off? Nope. So you're going to hear a lot of scratchy static. And uh, when we count down, oh, we, we're at zero. We're not going to hear him right away. We might, we might hear him early. But you'll start hearing the voice of the astronaut. You'll hear that first, and then you'll start hearing the voice coming through. That's when you know to get ready, when you start hearing them to fall back to it. <coughs> so from us to them, they are underground right now. <laughs> They're physically over Mexico, though. We do have a backup radio, we have a backup antenna, we have backup operators. So if James decides to take a nap, don't worry, we got you covered. Um, <laughs> is this the first time you guys have done it? It is, yeah, it is. We've used radio before, just not to the International Space Station. So this is something we've all been very excited to do. Um, just remember, these, these are people too. You're talking to people, they just happen to have a very specific job. So don't get super nervous about it. They put on their space pants the same way you put on your space pants. <laughs> <laughs> well, they can do it upside down, though. That's different. They can put their pants on two legs at a time, though. I guess they could, couldn't they? Yeah, and upside down. So right now it's over Texas, and it's going to be crossing the Gulf to Louisiana. It's probably over Houston right now, actually. Um, it's on the tip of Texas. Showing it 1,750 miles away. We should be able to start here. 17,500 miles an hour. That could be a little off from you, you know? Now I'm showing off the golf. That's her countdown. and a 1SS from W2IR, Whiskey 2, Italy, Romeo. And a 1SS and a 1SS from W2IR. And a 1SS and a 1SS from W2IR. SS and a one SS from W two IR. And a one 
ISS from W2IR. Uh, we are going to start with some questions, if that's okay. NA1SS from W2IR, do you copy? Check that radio. Turn up. You want some dairy on the edge. Two IR whiskey two Illy Romeo. And a one ISS and a one SS. Sorry, W two IR. and A1SS from W2IR. And A1SS and A1SS from W2IR. QSL, this is W2IR, how copy? Anyone SS from W2IR? Whiskey 2, India Romeo, have you loud and clear? Okay, we're going to go ahead with our first question. Thank you. Hello, this is Valerie Lennick, and I would like to ask how you celebrate birthdays on the International <laughs> Space Station. First question. Hello, this is Valerie, and I would like to ask: Has being oh, hello, this is Valerie. How do you celebrate birthdays on the International Space Station? Are you uh, loud and clear as well? And uh, I've been to Watertown a few times, so great to hear you, uh, you and your students there. Thanks. Make sure you hear me. Okay. What do you want me to do? Make sure you do copy me right now. Right. Okay. Uh, we're going to go on with the second question. Uh, that's great. We're going to be flying over there here in about 10-15 minutes. Yep. Okay. That's your question. Let's go to number two. Okay. Hello, this is Ruben McWilliams, and my question is, do you believe there is evidence of any life form in space? SS and what yeah, NA1 SS, uh, W2IR, copy still? NA1 SS, you want to clear? Okay, we're going to go on to the third question. Hi, my name is Gita, and I would like to ask Have you ever been on a spacewalk before? If so, how was your experience? And if not, what would you be most excited about if you were going to go? Spacewalks before to answer your question. Uh, it was absolutely amazing. Uh, it's a lot of hard work out there. You're really focused for about seven hours. Uh, so you're really concentrating. It's physically demanding moving the spacesuit around. And actually, we're getting ready to do two more here in the first to second week of January. So I'm looking forward to that. Over. Hello, this is Sophia. Considering your current impression of being in the space station, would you go again if you had a chance? Excellent question, Sophia. Uh, it's an amazing, beautiful place, and yes, I'm uh, tools as well as medications up here in case anything happens. But uh, thank goodness so far, nothing's happened. Over. This, hi, this is Lucy Grossman. What do you do for entertainment yeah, on the ISS? We have a lot of entertainment, actually. Uh, it's a lot better than the last time I was here. We have a phone we can use to call home. We have uh, TV shows and movies they can send up to us. And uh, every now and then we get live sporting events as well. Over. 
Hi, this is Allie asking for Cleo. How do you keep calm when something goes wrong on the ISS? We're trained and trained and trained, and I think that's part of it, just being trained on everything and all the systems and trusting your crewmates. We do about two years of training with our crew prior to coming up here on a mission. So we know each other, we know how each other reacts, and uh, uh, me being the commander, uh, my job, one of my jobs is just to keep everybody calm in case something goes wrong. Over. Hello, this is Valerie again. Has being an astronaut and having seen Earth from afar changed your perspective of Earth and humanity? I think it's only strengthened my views I had before I came to space. Um, it, Earth is very fragile, that's one thing I have noticed, uh, and we have to protect it as humans. Uh, it's our, it's, I think one of our missions is to protect the planet, the only planet that we have, and the only atmosphere that we have. So one thing you can see from up here is the thin layer of atmosphere that protects all, of, all the people on Earth from living and dying. Over. Hi, this is Claire filling in for Mikhail. Who are you most excited to see first when you come back to Earth? I'll be most excited to see my wife and three children. Over. Hi, this is Trinity. Do you feel more comfortable when you sleep in space? Uh, that's a good question. A lot of people don't sleep well up here. I, for some reason, sleep very well. So to answer your question, for me, I feel very comfortable, more comfortable probably than on Earth. Um, you're, you are just kind of floating, but um, there's a little pressure with your sleeping bag, and you can make it kind of feel like you're in a bed. Over. Hi, my name is Christian Nolan. My question is, have you ever seen any involuntary physical reactions from the environment in space? I did not hear that question, but I think it's uh, from Christian, uh, if I got that right. And you do see a little physical change in your body. You grow about two inches. Most people do when you're up here, so that's kind of interesting. Uh, that's just because your spine is, doesn't have um, the forces on it that it does on Earth. Um, and I don't think I'm getting any smarter. I hope I am, but uh, I doubt that's true, over. Hi, this is Kelly. What is the hardest thing that, that you've had to deal with on the ISS? I didn't hear that either, so I'm just talking in the blind here. What's the hardest thing you've had to deal with? We've had a few malfunctions of equipment on here, and probably the most significant was when our bathroom um, actually had a leak in it, and that's a big issue. It's, uh, that's the only one you have on the, the American side of the space station, so that was the hardest thing so far we've had to fix. Over. This is Lucy Grossman asking for a TJ McMaster. What is the most breathtaking phenomenon that you've witnessed in space? On the other side, uh, what's the most breathtaking phenomenon? Um, I saw some auroras about a week ago over the North Atlantic. That was definitely the most breathtaking so far. Over. Hi, this is Trinity again asking for Damien. Is there a compatibility test for you and your crewmates before launch? Whiskey 2, Italy Romeo, W2IR, uh, NA1SS, NA1 thank you very much, hopefully you can hear me, uh, 73, and uh, good luck up there, W2IR. Last question number that he answered? 13, 14? Awesome. So well, we missed the first couple because of a little bit of communication issues. But this is what we consider a successful yeah. uh, scheduled uh, uh, contact. And uh, I don't know about you all, but it was pretty exciting. And some of you were a little nervous. Uh, what do you think? Cool? I was nervous. Just cool? <laughs> <laughs> so, the pressure was on. <laughs> so, uh, like I said, a lot of people put a lot of work into making this happen. Um, I uh, hope you all had a fun time doing it. If you want to learn more about this, uh, definitely reach out. We're more than happy to help you uh, expand into this, get more involved in this. And with any luck, we might actually try and schedule another uh, scheduled contact uh, next year. That's uh, one of our goals to try and, and, and do this again. So uh, if you have uh, friends who might be interested in, in it, let them know. You've got a great story to be able to tell. You know, you actually did talk to them. Um, some of the, uh, they also had a copy of the questions in advance uh, because sometimes communications are a little goofy. Uh, we don't have control over that, unfortunately, but that's the beauty of radio. Um, but you guys have all done something that uh, most of your friends haven't done yet. 
So this is uh, this is really neat, and it's something very few people get the opportunity to do. So I hope you understand just how how really cool that is. So I'm assuming some of you witnessing have. Okay. The radio club meets here once a month on Thursday. What's Thursday? The third Thursday. Third of Thursday every month. of every month. Six thirty. So if anybody wants to join the radio club and learn to be a ham radio operator and, and volunteer in emergencies and stuff, you're welcome to come to the meeting. We meet right here. So, and you're welcome to come. It's open to the public. You don't have to be a member to show. But uh, if you want to learn more about it, by all means, reach out to any of us here at the club. Thank you all for coming. Thank you everyone for joining us, we hope you enjoy.